Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Emi Chicken from Team Pandori. Today we're going to be looking at an arcade controller, but without a stick. We were approached by Hecker, who asked us to create them a video review. They've obviously not seen your track record. They're a new online store, like AliExpress, and the product today here was provided in exchange for this review. What the heck? Let's tear the new one. Here's the box we got. Bam! The box is surrounded by this thin sheet of whatever that is. Presenting the PXN X8. This arcade controller has keys instead of a stick. Are you telling me it had its bit chopped off? Kinda. The controller here was designed from the ground up to use keyboard switches rather than a stick or buttons. Should give you advantage over the opposition. In the box we got a thank you card, an instruction booklet in Chinese, English and Japanese. In the center we got a warranty card, which we'll probably not use. We can attach the regular pad to this as well. It's written here that it's compatible with PC, Android, Switch, Xbox something, PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. This might be handy if you run out of toilet paper. Not likely. PXN did a good job in packing this. It's not going to break. Inside the box we get two cables. USB to micro USB and USB to USB-C. Guessing these are for the game pads. Here's the controller. Not bad at all. Initial impressions? Yeah, this feels pretty good. Around the top we have the USB cable, as well as a USB port if we want to insert any other device. Around the back, nothing much. The cable itself is one and a half meters long, and it's not as flexible as I'd like it to be. Let's get typing. These will be based on the blue key switches. The buttons look a lot like Sanwa, but these also are using keyboard switches. When paired together with the keys, it can get very noisy indeed. On the top row of buttons, we have DPLS. Double penetration. This will switch the function of these keys to either be D-pad or a left stick. There's no stick. These on the top have a soft click to them. For the size comparison today, we're going to use a tea bag. It's about 54 tea bags large. Or if you compare it to the Tech and the 6 stick for the Xbox 360, it's roughly the same size. The weight is also similar, as is the building material. This feels pretty good. The buttons, however, night and day. Clicky clicky, no clicky, no clicky. Clicky clicky, no clicky, no clicky. Grow some balls. When you start hitting these buttons loudly, they sound very similar. The biggest difference in sound will be the keys and the stick. Mother won't hear you when you play with your stick. When connecting it to a computer, it's seen as a fighting box. Let's check the input. Hmm. It did miss an input earlier, but it's not bad. Let's try the buttons. Hmm. And along the top. Pushing home gives us this screen. Using the switch at the top, it'll change our keys to use the analog axis. The axis of evil. Let's check how it performs in some games. First up, Tekken 7. Fight. Can't you use any other characters? King of Fighters 13. Ah oh, yes, much better. I... Bit of castle crashes. In the castle, crushing Beverly. All night long. Quake. Back in the day we used to play this on the keyboard. And later on on the school network. Capcom vs SNK2. All working fine with Bartosera. Giga Wing. Okay. 
Raiden 4, Overkill on the PlayStation 3 is working great. But when hooking up to a Switch, yeah, that's when we started having issues. This might be due to a firmware update, I have no idea. But if you have the Mayflash Magic NS handy, it works like a charm. Emu Elec also needs this Mayflash dongle. Checking under the keycaps, we can see it uses blue switches. This means very clicky and very noisy. Using a kitty cat as a cushion, we'll open this thing up. It has six screws at the bottom. You really like to screw pussy. And once these are out, you can just pull the back straight off. The main USB encoder board is here at the top. You've got the keys here, and you've got the buttons over here. They're not using these standard pins for the buttons, they're using these little connectors. If we compare it to a regular sandwich switch, we can see it's very different. The button itself comes out a little bit more, yet it's the same 30mm size. If you wanted to mod this yourself with sandwich switches, you need to break off some plastic tabs in the case. Or file some grooves here to make your switch fit. You may also have to rewire and perhaps use a different USB encoder board. This is what the inside of the button looks like. Same as before, a Kai Cheng blue switch. It's time to get to the pros and cons. The PXN X8 is a well-built, tight and responsive controller. But for the long term, we don't know how reliable these blue switches are. As this is the main component of the board, it would have been nice to see them use a well-known, proven switch. Final thoughts. This product is for keyboard warriors who want to play an arcade controller without the stick. If you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe. This has been Emi Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra! Good morning, good evening, and good night.